ladies and gentlemen boys and girls welcome back to my channel so here we have another arc Knight video uh, i am going to show you guys what i've been up to since we last spoke on this game when i did my weekly review i fell in love with the game I've fallen, I've fallen in love with Ark Knights and the community is awesome. I've met some good friends. They've jumped in the Discord and they've built me a masterclass of everything that I need to know. They're helping me even with complex factoids, getting everything done that we need to know. So look, come on in, join the Discord and you can grow like I'm growing on this game. If you have any questions or not, they, these people are so happy to help and guide us through. The community on this game is awesome. So what they did, what Naresh did actually, and Naresh is an awesome guy, what he did is he took me through like a four hour masterclass where he just tried to guide me through the basics of everything and I've got it all um, recorded. Unfortunately, I messed up the sound a little bit, um, so you can't hear me too clearly, but that's fine. I'm, I'm mostly asking stupid questions anyway. Does anybody know what a canned food drive is? Yes, Eric? When they cut up a chick's stomach to get a baby out? No, that's a cesarean section, Eric, but that's okay. Remember, there are no stupid questions, just stupid people. Naresh is the guy that you want to hear because he knows what he's talking about and how to guide you through it properly. So the first lesson today is going to be on the base and the dormitory. I hope you guys enjoy. Now exit building mode. Click on overview because it emptied uh the bill it emptied the room when you upgraded it and then uh check them check all the operators back in yeah dormitory add them all back in and now they should have a uh, slightly higher morale uh, regeneration oh that reminds me you have you have some furniture to work with so you can uh back out you can uh back out of this click on the dormitory top one. whichever one really yeah top one for now oh, the top. i think go to I, I think uh I decoration mode. i think i put this down i'm not sure decoration yeah uh let's see click on single there you, you have a, a bonding column and a plaque so you click on the the bonding column and then you grab that that cross, yeah, and then you can click and hold to drag it around. And then where it shows red, that's where you can't put it. So if it doesn't show red, you'll be fine. Like there you can't put because it's showing up red. So just put it down there anyway? You yep. And you can rotate it if you want. Does it matter like where I put you... it down? Uh, not really. It's just your aesthetic taste for now. Seeing. Yep, so you just click uh, off of it. The so and then you can click on the plaque that you have. And then you just adjust that accordingly onto the wall. There you go. All right. So uh you can click the the arrow there at the left the left edge to back up so click on theme i think i think it's just, so whenever you buy a a set uh this is where there would be all themes and stuff so right now you have the default theme which is the just moved in look basically so if you if you go all the way to the right, because that's where that's where it's located. So yeah, you what you currently have now is the warehouse one. So you can uh, back out. It's it's since you already have it set up. So uh, hit the save button on the top right, so you can so you save what you've done. So you see the ambience. You, I think you can click there. Nine hundred. Yeah, so you can click there. So, with your current uh, level, the ambience cap is two thousand. So what you can do is that if you you can uh, click off this, back out, and then you see in the uh, bottom left, 
So the 1.7 is the is the default, and then the 0.36 is because of the certain operator skills. So if you click on operator, and if you click on Ansel, Ansel is the one with the skill currently uh, in use. So you click on Ansel. Five pounds. So that's that's scavenger. That's scavenger you're looking at. Oh. So you click on Ansel. Click on him again. There you go. And you see the one in the light blue, thoughtfulness. Right. When this operator is assigned to a dormitory for 0.55 morale per hour, another operator assigned to that dorm dormitory morale is not full. Only the strongest type takes. So one other operator at random is is getting this buff, and then uh, click on Luna Cub. So she has self. So she gets a buff to herself for recovery. Operate. Self morale recovery. Right. So where do where do these numbers and those numbers are? What I'm seeing here. That's Azul yes. That green and... value is the bonus. Mm. And my ambience boosted what? The 1.7? The ambience that, gone in here? Yes. So right. when you hit maximum ambience, you'll hit the maximum morale restore default for the room right. without and then, operators. And skills. then the operators give me this one. Yes. And then uh, you can just drag down to see the uh, second dorm. Okay, just, just click and drag down, then click on the second door. I just click it here. And you see, here's only a point three, uh, because the operator, which is causing that, is only giving a minimum amount, a minimal amount. So once you have all the operators uh, not distracted, then we can start talking about how to arrange them as such, so that way they get the maximum amount of uh, recovery. Okay, so this is so this is your base. Yep. So it's got an ambience right now of uh, 5,000, because it's a level 5 dormitory. So it's got that cap. So then now, so now it has a default of 2, and right now it has the operators giving it 2.25 bonus. So let's see, back out a bit, overview. Nice to decorate. It look kind of cool. Yep. So, just a minute. so I got a s operator who boosts one character, and then I have Durin here who boosts all characters in the dorm. So there's one who only boosts a single character will boost that one character, while everyone else will be covered by Durin who will hit them with her own uh, boost. So that's so using that combo, and your three other operators will recover pretty darn fast. Oh. So this is a 2 plus 2.25. This is 2 plus 2.2. 2.2. 2.2. So, because Durin's <laughs> one is particularly high, so that's why it goes 2.2. Uh, 2.25 for Durin's, for the room that Durin is in. Put your Rainbow Six guys in there. So you can see all the dormitories max level, and every other room is also max level with the control center max level. So it's a it's a pretty good stuff. I'll go. All right, guys. So we are going to cut it there. So that is that for the first one. Uh, we'll see how you guys like the series of the master classes. The first one, the dormitory. Um. So what they've got me going now, right now. He told me to just focus on getting my two stars and three stars leveled up all of them he said every single two star that i have every single three star that i have just focus on getting them leveled up so what i'm doing is i am doing this mission over and over again on auto on auto just so i can get these xp materials to level up all my two stars and three stars um yeah but obviously i think there's an event going on today cg or something so i'm gonna touch base with naresh and just make sure i'm doing everything that's right 
Okay, guys, I hope you like this. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.